Thank you for watching. Today is a couple ideas that work very well on my boat. Many, many years ago, one of the sailing magazines had a page in the back with submitted drawings of ideas to do to your boat. One of those sounded very interesting, of making a canvas companionway cover that could be used for when it is raining to make it easier to enter into the cabin without having to remove the hatch boards and then reattach them. This was the very first sewing project I made when I bought my used local industrial sewing machine. The original idea called for battens to be sewed into the cover to allow for the cover to be somewhat supported in case a large wave entered the cockpit. These battens would stiffen the cover so the weight of the water could not push the canvas inwards into the cabin. I used a heavy oak batten at the bottom to add weight to the canvas to hold it downwards and a couple thinner and lighter battens through the middle to support the canvas from being pushed inwards. I installed three snaps across the top for attachment to the edge of the sliding hatch cover. The stiff battens help in rolling this cover into a small cylinder for ease of storage. I use this cover on any sail that has the possibility of rain and have used this cover when spending the night on a boat for ease of opening the companionway during the night checking on unusual sounds around the boat and the anchor. Hatchboard's cover was made to protect the finish on the board and make it easier to store them below and move them around if need be. My 1987 Catalina 22 came from the manufacturer with all of the teak trim. This trim is a lot of work to maintain, not costly like a woman wearing diamond, but time and effort to keep it all looking shiny and new looking. Nothing looks better at the party, parking lot, or marina than diamond chrome, and varnished wood on a woman, car, or boat. To keep the natural look of wood on a boat in its environment of sun, wind, and rain, one has to be committed to a regular routine of upkeep with oils or varnish to combat the sun's UV rays drying out by the wind and moisture 
entering the wood grain where dark algae grows. Oils require monthly applications and varnish means a couple additional coats every year. The only help in prolonging the oils and varnish is to keep it out of the rain, wind, and sun, such as a boathouse or canvas covering. My Cat 22 has a pop top with a waterproof covering that attaches all the way around the perimeter of the cabin top and down the companionway trim for a waterproof zippered doorway. I have used these attached cabin snaps around the cabin top to attach this canvas cover with the cover sides being extra long to hang down over the window eyebrow teak trim below the snaps. Only an additional five snaps were added around the base of the mast to hold down the canvas from wind ballooning this cover. The next diamond are the cockpit cushions. I did not want vinyl material in the cockpit where the sun would make them very hot. Even vinyl material will get wet and take much longer to dry the interior foam. So I used standard interior material for them. I made sure that breathable material on the bottom was used. Also, instead of two long cushions, I made four of them, which makes it easier to store them in the cabin. I also added snaps to the bottoms for attachment to the fiberglass seats so they would not slide off during healing when beating into the wind. These snaps are equally spaced so the cushions are interchangeable. The combing box covers use two of the cushion snaps to hold them in place at the seat and additional ones added across the top of the gunnels. Cockpit, sun, and rain awning. This cover was my third attempt to come up with the very best solution. Dark material will get hot underneath from the hot summer sun, so I used very light colored vinyl material to keep it waterproof. I wanted to be able to use it when motoring, not sailing, so did not want any size on it to reduce the view beyond. So, I made it wide, the full width of the boat, to help keep the lower setting sun from shining too far into the cockpit. Also, to keep it high so one could move around underneath. To give it support from gunnel to gunnel, I used expandable paint roller handles from Lowe's that slide into pockets on each side of the awning and support it totally up by using the full length of the boom. These long handles collapse to less than four feet for the whole cover and supports to fit into a four foot by one foot zippered bag for storage.
two clips attach it to the baby stays at the front with straps attached to the front corners and adjust to the stanchion bases at the front of the cabin. At the stern, it is held in place attached to the topping lift and the back stay. An additional extension is added to lay on the back stay adjuster cables with each corner having an adjustable straps attached to the stern pulpit. I added a four inch hang down side panel on three sides to help with the lowering sun and a place to attach Velcro in case I wanted to add bug netting later. I have told you that this is my third attempt at this cockpit cover. Before I added the four adjustable hold down straps at the four corners during a quick storm at night on a four day trip to a much larger lake in the fall. The awning was flipped up at the stern and slid up the stays and the mast. Looked like and acted like a square rigger. 
It was a good thing that the stern anchor held very well. Wow, I was able to pull down the awning from the middle of the mast. I created this tiller cover to encompass the tiller tamer attached to its top. I always keep my swing rudder locked in the down position when at anchor or at the dock to help steady the hull during severe weather and also to lessen the stresses applied to the rudder in the up position. You can see I tie the tiller to the gunnels very securely to take stress off the tiller tamer and rudder from flopping around. I had to build a tent like cover over the tamer and leather reinforcement slits in the sides to allow for the tamer control line attached to the top of the stern. All of these canvas ideas were added to my boat well over a 10 year period. So, do not think you can do many of these projects between one season of sailing.